Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I am um, going to make this card using the stamp set Classic Cloche. Seen someone make some cards with this at Card Craft, and I thought, oh, I like that, so I bought it. Right, cards I'm going to use. I have got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of the classic DSP, and this comes in six by six, and I've cut it down to four and five eighths by no five and five eighths by four and three and seven eighths. I have also got a shape that I've cut from. Some dies. <laughs> One of stamping up dies. And that will go on there. Let me find them dies so I can tell you. It is Stitch those sweetly dies, and I use that one. So that's the one I used. Um, this we're going to use. Look, shows you how organised I am. I haven't even got this in the wallet yet, or in the stamp set. So I'm going to use that die. Uh, yeah, die. That die, the snow, this die for the pattern bit underneath, and that die. Yep. And these dies are just called cloche dies. So let's cut out some things. Um, What did I do with me? Plates. Right. Put that on and hope it's big enough to take this die. The card isn't. That is. And I've got to stamp that first, so So our cloche, our bit of snow, and our fancy bit at the bottom. Right, we don't need them anymore, but I need to stamp the houses. Which is this one, which I stamped in. What did I stamp it in? Memento. So stamp that down. Uh, 
and then we shall colour it in by using the infill dies. So this one is for the houses and I'm going to use crumb cake. And I'm going to fill in my house like that. And that's really nice that. And then the trees I'm going to use so soft succulent. Is it soft? Yeah. Soft succulent. And no. Went too low then. Let's do that again. So I am not having fun with my filming, I can tell you. I'm making so many mistakes. Right. Put in the houses. Keep going till I get it right. That's better. Right. Now the houses. And I think. I stamped off and then stamped on. That's better. Don't know why I got that bit across there, but never mind. And now we've got to cut that off, cut that out, should I say, using the die. Now this is where I do need some tape. Here's my picture. Don't need that bit no more. And this will go inside there like that with my little snow scene and my decorative part but first we've got to fill in the decorative part which I'm going to put in with a bit of this paper DSP so we're going to glue that down on there
Just some little bits of glue don't need to come mad. And then it is snipped and cut at an angle to cut it off so it cuts underneath the die cut. That's it, very nicely done. Ooh, that bit isn't. There we are. And that will go on there. So that's I'll pick, I keep going to pick that up, but it's stamped. Right, our next bit is to add some so succulent onto here using a brush. And Trying to keep it off the frilly bits, as I call them. So I'm just going to put some post it notes down the side of it. Using my brush, I'm just going to put a light dusting of ink on it. That'll do nicely. Don't need to add any more. And this is going to go across there. And we're just going to stamp warmth, joy and happiness across the bottom here. In soft succulent and we're going to stamp that just there oh no keep that out because we want to add some tiny dots that look like snowflakes to the kosh. Just like that. Rid of them. Don't need them. Right, the next thing I'm going to do with this is get my black Stampin' Right marker and the brush end 
and I'm just going to go around the edge with the marker and just put a thin line around the whole edge just like that Right, this will get glued flat on here. I'll make sure it's straight. And then this will get glued on there. This on the guard base. Now this we're going to put up on dimensionals. the back ends off. And um, we're going to put this Just about there. And this is going to go on dimensionals as well with the tiny ones. And that will sit at the bottom because our snow is going to sit there but we want to colour our snow in so there's my brush I'm just gonna go over it with what's left on my brush Down there, 
like that with some glue. Big gap there, that doesn't matter. Um, and then inside, I am going to stamp. Did I put anything in that? Oh, yeah, wishing you a joyful Christmas. Don't know where I got that from, but this time I'm going to stamp. The magic of Christmas never ends. So that for there. And I'm going to stamp it in soft succulent as well. this look on the inside no good two cards are the same well not in my house oops wrong one and now we have it My first card using the um, classic cloche stamp and die set. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my Christmas, more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload. Up until Christmas. They will only be Monday and Friday. After Christmas, I hope to go back to Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.